Hi, I'm Ash. Uh, and I'm Nick. And this is our game Toast Time. Yeah, so we were, uh, we showed you a few bits and pieces last week. Uh, this week, I think we're going to try and explain the star system a bit, because uh, people have been really struggling to get three stars. I mean, I'm not much of a perfectionist, but I've seen lots of people say they don't uh, progress unless they've got three stars on each level, which is going to be difficult. Yeah, the game is really... It's really a challenge to get three stars. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of partly designed like that, so that when you unlock weapons later on, you can come back and revisit levels uh, and do a better job of them the first time around. Um, we are actually going to change some of the, the points values necessary, so I don't know why I just started that game. We're going to change some of the points values uh, to make it a little bit easier, but um, it'll probably be that much better if we actually explain how it works. <laughs> So there's essentially two factors involved. It's how many points you get and how many crates you get. So I've unlocked all the weapons already on this. Um, so it's going to be that much easier. But essentially the important thing is to keep the combo going, which is at the top of the screen. Uh, that runs down on the timer, which is I think it's about two seconds, isn't it? Three seconds, something like that. Okay, yeah. Uh, and yeah, I'm showing you all of the weapons, so this is complete spoiler. <laughs> but uh, there's only ever one crate on screen, so if you use up your weapon quickly, then you're guaranteed a, a crate drop's going to happen in the next sort of three or four seconds, probably. Um, so you really want to use up your weapons quickly, which is difficult because sometimes you want to maintain a certain position so it's that kind of trade-off between the ability to fire away rounds as fast as possible whilst keeping yourself in the position you want to be to uh, kind of maximize your firepower I guess. Also while um, you don't want to kill all the enemies on screen at once because you want to have enough to keep your combo up. Yeah yeah so you kind of want to you want to farm them to some extent so there's that tension between farming the enemies but then also using your weapon up quickly enough that the next crate's going to come. The crates are worth loads of points, and they're required for sort of the three stars. So, yeah, there's essentially two thresholds for each number of stars. You need to have a certain number of crates and a certain number of points. Um, but like I said, we, we've dropped it a bit on the earlier levels. The later ones we kind of haven't really touched, so they're going to be as hard as they always were. Because, uh, <laughs> well, we've been playing this for about a year now, so you you got some practice to, to get in. Um, there's a few other bits and pieces as well. A friend of mine was struggling with level 19. Uh, so I'm going to kind of show some tactics for this one. Uh, this kind of... It's a reasonably simple level. Um, but it emphasises... Uh, a certain element of the game where you need to really fire along straight lines towards your enemies. Or you need to figure out... Uh, the easiest way of hitting them. So in this instance, when they hit that jump pad, they're coming off on a diagonal, bottom left to top right. So if you keep yourself up firing along that axis, uh, it makes it a lot easier than trying to hit them, kind of laterally, if you imagine. So, yeah, hitting them on, while they're on the jump pad is a lot easier than trying to hit them while they're in the air and moving. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of that cricket uh, analogy that I came up with earlier uh, when we were talking about this, uh, just to keep it British, which is uh, playing with a straight bat. You want to be kind of looking down the line of, of the enemy as they come towards you rather than trying to you know, time the shot from side on. And I got an amazing one star on because <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to talk at the same time. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do some more of these each week and uh, hopefully I'll get more than one star on the levels because <laughs> I feel like a douche. All right, cheers. Bye. <laughs>